so today we will see the perennial pouches and its contents first we are going to discuss the superficial perennial pouch its boundaries so as you know these are the two sections this is the first is the sagittal section this is the deep perennial pouch this is the superficial perennial pouch deep lies above the perennial membrane superficial lies below the perennial membrane this is the sagittal section this is the coronal section so above it is bounded by the perennial membrane so this is the perennial membrane both side and below it is bounded by the fascia of coelis so this is the fascia of coelis or coelis fascia coelis fascia if you will trace anteriorly in the upper part this is the scarpa's fascia and continue as the dartos fascia or dartos muscle and this fascia continue as the fascia of coelis on each side it is bounded by the ischiopubic ramus and posterior side the coelis and the perineal membrane will fuse and posteriorly it is closed and anterior side this space is open and it may continue as the superficial inguinal space now we will see the contents in this region we have the three muscles first muscle is the ischio cavernosus this muscle is the ischio cavernosus it will cover the crust of the penis in case of the male in case of the female clitoris so this is the ischio cavernosus other muscle is the bulbo spongiosus this muscle is the bulbo spongiosus it will cover the bulb of the penis or the vestibule so this is the bulb other muscle last muscle we have the transversus perineae muscle it lies in the posterior part of the superficial perineal pouch then with the three vessels two posterior scrotal vessels or labial vessels and one is the transversus perineal vessel and three nerves we have the so two posterior scrotal nerves and one is the perineal nerve so these are the contents of the superficial now we will see the deep perineal pouch and its boundaries so above it is bounded by the superior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm so this is the deep perineal pouch above boundary is the superior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm below it is bounded by the perineal membrane so this is the perineal membrane anterior side you will see the transverse perineal ligament so this is on the anterior side and posterior side the superior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm and the perineal membrane will fuse so this space is closed on all the side on each side it is bounded by the inner surface of the ischiopubic ramus now we will see the contents so we have the sphincter urethra muscle which will cover the membranous urethra and the transversus perineae profundus this lies in the posterior part of the deep perineal pouch so this is the posterior part transversus perineae profundus and vessels we have the internal pudendal artery and its branches
in case of nerve we have the dorsal nerve of penis along with that we have see some other structure also this is the membranous urethra in case of male we have the bulbo urethral glands and its duct in case of female we have the vagina behind the urethra thanks for watching